Okay, we've retained another integral from the MIT integration, be 2024, this was regular season number 20. We have the integral from zero to infinity of 80x cubed minus 60x to the fourth plus 14x to the fifth minus x to the sixth, all times e to the minus x, dx. Okay, I was reading through the comments on a problem very similar to this. I did something that was kind of the same idea. And in that one, they mentioned that it was actually much faster to use Laplace transforms on this. The method I used in the previous video for this was integration by parts. It's not too bad, but it's just kind of tedious when you have a whole bunch of terms. Even just setting up the table is slower than Laplace transform, I think. So if you're not familiar with Laplace transform, let's just go over the definition really quick. So what it tells us, we can write our Laplace transform of some function in terms of t. I guess in our problem it's x, but it doesn't really matter. So what it's going to be is it's going to be an integral from 0 to infinity, just like we have here, of f of t e minus st dt. So in our problem, our variable is x, but we don't have this s here. Well, it's real easy to just kind of create an s. So what I can do on this is let's just kind of write in an s, write it as sx. And what we'll do is we'll just set the s value equal to 1 right away. And now what's going to happen is our Laplace transform is going to give us a result, which is just going to be a function in terms of s. But that's going to be no problem because we know we can just plug in 1 because we have our value here that we've already set, s to 1. And then in our specific example, all this stuff here, this is going to be our f of t. But this is actually no problem to deal with because we have a formula for the Laplace transform of polynomials. We can just use... We have this formula that we can use on just one term. If we have the Laplace transform of t to the n, this is just going to be the same thing as n factorial over s n plus 1. So using this, we can go right to a solution, basically, or, or the first step towards a solution, where the n value in our polynomial is just going to be this 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, just keep in mind that all these constant values in front, they would just come outside because this is an integral, so the constant values are pulled out and those aren't changed. So. So going to our result for this, we're going to have 80. Then our n value here is 3, so that's going to be 3 factorial here over s to the n plus 1. That's going to be 4. And then for the next one, we have minus 60. This value is our n, so that's going to be 4 factorial over s to the 5. And then we're going to have plus 14, the 5 value, so that's going to be 5 factorial over s to the 6. And then the last one, we just have a minus 1. That's going to be 6 factorial over s to the 7. It's like I'm getting lower and lower here as we go along. I'm kind of heading that way. <laughs> so what we have here is actually the solution for this Laplace transform. So this gives us our big f of s. But now, of course, we don't really want this s in here. For our integral, we should get like a numeric value. Well, we know, again, back to our s equals 1, we can just plug that right in here. Because what we want is we want to find f of 1. But coming back to our function, you plug 1 in here. That's real easy. That's going to go away because it's just going to be 1 in the denominator. The same thing here, the same thing here, the same thing here. So all we need to do is calculate all this and add it up. So for the first one, this is going to be 3 factorial. 6 times 80 is 480. This one here, when you do 24 times 60, that's going to be minus 1440. Here, 5 factorial is 120 times 14 is going to be a plus 680. Then here, 5 factorial is 120 times 14 gives me 1680. And then here, minus 6 factorial, that's minus 720. Putting this together, we'll add 480 to 1680, and that's 2160. And then we do minus 1440, minus 720, that's minus 2160. And so for my final solution to this, we get just zero. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from MIT 2024 using Laplace transforms. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.